Melbourne captain Cameron Smith was asked in the lead-up to their Anzac Day match if a win over NRL Premiership contenders the Warriors meant the Storm were back. His team emphatically answered that question on Wednesday night, blasting the Warriors off AAMI Park in a 50-10 victory, delivering a statement that they wouldn't be handing over their title without a fight. The Warriors came into the annual clash, hyped up having only dropped one game, while the Storm had won their previous two after a patchy start to the season. But the visitors were humiliated in the first half as the defending champions scored six of their eight tries for a 36-0 lead. More than half of those tries could make the Storm show real, with clever kicking by Cameron Munster and Billy Slater and pure speed from Curtis Scott and Josh Adokar contributing to the haul. Winger Adokar did his chances of a state of origin call up no harm with an 80-meter dash to the line, while he added another try in the second half. Smith also did his part, converting all eight tries as well as a penalty goal. In the only downer for the Storm, Scott was carried from the field in the 57th minute after the young center appeared to suffer a high ankle sprain in a tackle. The Warriors also had a major casualty, losing star hooker Isaac Luke for the match midway through the first half with a knee injury. Storm halfback Riley Jack scored in the third minute after Slater and winger Young Tona might be a put through back-to-back -back pinpoint kicks. It took only 10 minutes for the floodgates to open. Melbourne scored three tries within six minutes to stun the Warriors, with back rower Ryan Hoffman, prop Christian Welch and Slater all crossing to put the game out of their rivals' reach. To the Warriors' credit, they held their heads up and were first on the scoreboard in the second half, when they sent the ball wide to a diving David Fusichua. Warriors continued to threaten but the Storm's defense was almost as good as their attack, continually repelling their opponents, and forcing them into errors. Fusichuas scored a similar second try in the 59th minute but it was the Storm's night to celebrate. Ben Hunt masterclass and yet another controversial bunker call have fired St. George Illawarra to a 24-8 Anzac Day defeat of the Sydney Roosters. In front of crowd of 41,142 a record for the fixture, at Allianz Stadium, the NRL video referees were again the center of attention after green lighting a Nene McDonald four-pointer in the 69th minute. After the Dragons put it through the hands, the ball appeared to come loose due to the attention of Cooper Cronk. However bunker official Jared Maxwell ruled McDonald still had a fingertip on the ball and there was insufficient evidence to overturn the on-field call. The Dragons were up 18-8 at the time and the four-pointer killed off any hope of a Roosters fight back. It took the gloss of an engrossing contest with Hunt all but assuring he would wear the number 7 this year for Queensland, while Tarek Sims put on an eye-catching audition in front of NSW coach Brad Fittler. On several occasions, the Dragons' back rower lined up Kronk and leveled him in what appeared a deliberate ploy to put the number 7 off his game. He rubbed salt into Kronk's wounds in the 46th when he latched onto a Gareth Whittip short ball and ran over the Roosters' playmaker to make it 18-2. Latrell Mitchell's four-pointer in the 51st minute was the only time the Roosters could crack the latter lead as defense. The Dragons took a 12-2 advantage into the break after Hunt Book ended the first half with two pieces of brilliance. After running it on the last play of the first set of the game, he cut the Roosters open and would have kicked for a flying McDonald. After absorbing a mountain of pressure, Hunt produced a show-and-go to expose a tiring Boyd Cordner to make it 12-2 on halftime. At one point during the first half, the Roosters had six sets on the Dragons' line but couldn't crack them open and had to settle for a penalty goal. The loss will only fuel questions about the Roosters' attack, with Kronk and James Tedesco failing to fire.